Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. Welcome to 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Gedaliah. To my right, I have... Soldier Baruch. All praise to the Most High, Soldier Baruch. So today, for the 15 Minutes with the Captains, we're going to go over a lesson called A Man That Travels, right? Okay? A Man That Travels. Understand something. For you brothers that want to be leaders, that want to be soldiers, officers, and so on and so forth, understand you need to travel. And we're going to go through the scriptures regarding why you need to travel and what Christ and our forefathers did the apostles, and so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the lesson. Let's get the book of Sirach, chapter 34, and let's start at verse 9. The book of Sirach, chapter 34 and verse 9. Go ahead. A man that have traveled knoweth many things. So the Bible says a man that have traveled knoweth many things. Go ahead. And he that have much experience will declare wisdom. See that? And he that have much experience will declare wisdom. What, are, what does the experience come from? The fact that he traveled. When you travel, you see things, right? You learn different cultures. You see how our people move. You go to different congregations. You see how the, the brothers in that congregation do certain things, how the brothers in this congregation do certain things. And you bring those, ex those experiences back to your own congregation with suggestions of how to do things better, right? That's the benefit of traveling, right? Go ahead. He that have no experience knoweth little, mm. but he that have traveled is full of prudence. So he that have traveled is full of prudence, meaning what? Wisdom. A prudent man, a wise man. Why? Because he has much experience. But those that don't travel, you homebody brothers or you couch potato brothers that never like to leave a house for those you individual likes and you brothers that don't feel that it's a need to go out and preach the gospel, you're foolish because you're missing out on the experience that you need to help you in this walk, to help grow you spiritually as well as physically, right? Go ahead. When I traveled, I saw many things. So when I traveled, I saw many things, right? When you travel, you see many things, right? Go ahead. The book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 15. Go ahead. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. So don't be ignorant in anything in a great matter or a small. Give me the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Let's see what the King of Kings told us need to be done, right? The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Let's see what he said. Matthew 24, verse 14. The book of Matthew. Chapter 24 and verse 14. Come on. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. You hear that? This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Preached in all the world. Now, you think these brothers that's in these other countries are going to just automatically have a spirit that the bishop has or that the deacons have, the captains or the officers, or are they going to need to be visited? Are they going to need leadership to come in person, brothers to come in person? What about the sisters, right? We can give them scriptures, but you think some of you sisters are not going to need to travel to help some of these sisters out in these foreign countries or even in our respective states here in America? You're going to have to do that. You're going to have to go around these brothers and sisters and help them and show them the way of righteousness because they don't know. That's why this gospel, meaning what? This good news must be taught in all the world. Get off your behind and go to these places and help build up your brothers and sisters. That's what Christ is saying, right? Get Matthew 28, 19. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. The book of Matthew, chapter 28 and verse 19. Come on. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Read. Baptizing them in the name of the Father go ahead. and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So when you go to all nations, the Israelites are scattered there and they're oppressed there. There are bywords and proverbs and astonishments there. So the scriptures is telling you we must go and teach all nations, meaning the Israelites scattered in those nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Watch this, can you read? Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And teach them to observe all things. All things of what? There was no New Testament at that time. What is Christ telling them to observe? The laws, the commandments, what we read in the Old Testament. Read. And lo, I am with you always. And with Christ said he's going to be with us always as we travel. That's, that's even now. That's not just talking about right then because these apostles died. He's talking about right now. Christ is with us. He's amongst us when we go to these nations. Go ahead. Even unto the end of the world. Even unto the end of the world, Christ is going to be with us. What you mean the end of the world? Meaning the end of this last kingdom, Christ is with us. When you travel, the spirit of Christ is supposed to be with you. If you're not traveling, the spirit of Christ is not rolling with you to go into these areas and teach these people. Right? This is the benefit of travel. He's given us that blessing. Hey, go teach your brethren scattered abroad. Give me the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 1. Book of Luke chapter 10. Let's read verse 1 and 2. The book of Luke, chapter 10 and verse 1. Come on. After these things, the Lord appointed over, excuse me, after these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place 
whether he himself would come. No, Christ didn't travel. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two and two before his face mm. into every city and place where the he himself would come. So Christ would come into these cities. Christ traveled. But you're a follower of Christ, though, brother. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to walk in his steps. You want to walk like he walked. Well, why don't you travel? Because Christ traveled. Go ahead. Therefore said he unto them, the harvest truly is great. The harvest is great. But the laborers are few. But there are few laborers. There are few men that are willing to travel, that are willing to go to these places and teach the gospel. We got to change that. Read. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest. Pray to the Lord of the harvest. That he would send forth laborers into his harvest. So wait a minute. When he says send forth laborers into his harvest, his harvest is scattered throughout the world. We want Christ to give us the spirit. We want the Lord to give us the spirit, give us the spirit of his son to travel to these areas because the harvest is great, but we have few laborers. It's time for brothers to get up off their behind and travel. It's time to go teach the people. Wake up the 12 tribes of Israel, thus saith the Lord. Right? Give me Matthew 10, verse 5. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. The book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 5. Go ahead. These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Read. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Go ahead. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Come on. And as ye go, preach. What did he say? Preach. Preach. You go preach. Teach. Read. Saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And go teach the people the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's time to repent. That's your duty. That's you, prophet's duty. You soldiers, you officers, and so on and so forth. It's your duty to travel, teach the gospel. Read. No, skip down to verse 11. Verse 11. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter. So when he said travel, he said go to any city or town. Read. Inquire who in it is worthy and or city. When you're part out of that house or city. Shake off the dust of your feet. Shake off the dust of your feet. Sometimes we go teach places that people don't believe. You know, it is what it is. But we got to go teach. The Bible says we must go teach. Skip over to the next chapter. Read verse 20. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 20. Come on. Then began he to abrade the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done. So Christ went into these cities and did mighty works. Christ, your king, went into cities and did mighty works. Read. Because they repented not. And the people just decided not to repent. But he went to these various cities to teach. Right? Go from there. Give me the book of Acts 13, 13. So let's see what happened with the apostles after Christ. Did they continue to push forward and travel? Let's see. Acts 13, 13. Come on. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 13. Come on. Now, when Paul and his company loose from Paphos, they came to Paragon, Paphilium, and John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. So these brothers was traveling. Read. But when they departed from Perga, when they left Perga, read, they came to Antioch. Then they went to Antioch, read, in Syria, read, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. They visited these congregations, these various congregations. They said they went from Paphos, then they came to Perga in Pamphylia. John went back to Jerusalem. Then they went from Perga to Antioch and went in and talked. These brothers was moving, right? Go from there. Go to Acts chapter 14, verse 19. Paul and the apostles were moving. They were not staying still. They were traveling. This is your example. The Acts of the Apostles continue. We're still doing it to the day. Remember, Christ said, I'm going to be with you to the end of the world. Right. Meaning what? The apostles still got to go teach now. Go ahead. The book of Acts, chapter 14 and verse 19. Come on. And there came thither certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium, who's, who's persuaded the people, and having stoned Paul, Dang. drew him out of the city. So they stoned the Apostle Paul. Go ahead. Supposing he had been dead. Read. Howbeit, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up and came into the city. And the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derby. Now, hold up, because brothers have an excuse about them not feeling well or things going on financially. This brother was stoned. The brother got stoned. The apostles prayed over and brought him back to life. He died. The apostles brought him back to life. He got up and traveled. <laughs> What the hell is your excuse? The brother got up and traveled after getting stoned to death. Come on, man. Keep Ver reading. Verse 21. And when they had preached the gospel to that city. So after they preached the gospel in Derby, read. And had taught many. Go ahead. They returned again to Lystra. They went back to Lystra, read. And to Iconium. Uh-huh. And Antioch. That's where he got stoned at. Go ahead. Conforming the souls of confirming. the disciples. Excuse me. Confirming the, the souls of the disciples. Uh-huh. And exhorting them. 
to continue in the faith, mm. and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. So we're going to have tribulation because we're trying to enter the kingdom of God. We're going to go through things, but we must travel. Go ahead. And when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord on whom they be on whom they believed. Read. And after they had passed through Syria, Go ahead. they came to Pamphylia. And when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down into Italia. Men and brothers were getting it in. They were traveling. They were traveling constantly. Read. And then sailed to Antioch. And then they left there and went to Antioch again. Go ahead. From whence they had been recommended to the grace of God for the work which they fulfilled. For the work which they fulfilled. Go to Acts 17 verse 1. Acts chapter 17, verse 1. Come on. You good? The book of Acts chapter 17, verse 1. Come on. Now, when they had passed through Am Amphilius, Amphipolis. Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica. So after they left these two places, then they came to Thessalonica. Read. Where was a synagogue of the Jews. And they went into the Jewish synagogue or the Jews synagogue. Excuse me. Read. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures. So he went and taught these brothers. Right? He went in and talked to brothers and the sisters that was in that synagogue. Skip down to verse 10. Verse 10. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night into Berea, uh -huh. which come, which come, excuse me, whose coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. It went into the synagogue of the Jews. Read. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Read. And that they received the word with all readiness of mind. So if he had not gone there to teach them, how would they have received that word? Right. How would they have had to understand he had to go and teach the brothers? Read. And search the scriptures daily. Wow. Whether those things were so. Whether those things were so. Give me Isaiah 49, verse 6. So the Bible is telling us over and over and over, our forefathers traveled the world to teach the gospel. We must travel the world today where we have airplanes. We have ships. We can actually get on a on a, a, a aircraft, fly 10 hours, and be on the other side of the world teaching the same thing in, in less than a day. One day from now, we could be on the other side of the world teaching our brothers face-to-face -face what we teach here in the streets of what, Mississippi or wherever you're from. Right? Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, for a light to the Gentiles. What Gentiles? Our brothers and sisters scattered abroad that are living Gentile lives. Read. That thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. No, in your city. That thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. The Lord said you were supposed to be his salvation unto the end of the earth. That's your calling. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 16 is my last scripture. So I pray you got something from the class today. Very short, but very quick and to the point, right? It's a gut check for us all. We got to get out and we got to travel. We got to set our finances in order. We got to set our houses in order so that us as men can get out and teach our people scattered abroad. Give me that real quick. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 16. Go ahead. To preach the gospel in the regions beyond you. See that? To preach the gospels in the regions beyond us. We got to go teach the gospel in other regions, other places on this planet Earth. Read. And not to boast in another man's line of things made ready to our hands. So don't 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 go and boast like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, you know, but my leadership travel. What about you? Oh, yeah, you know, Bishop, what about you? When you going to put your hand to the plow? When you going to go travel to these respective states and learn your brothers that are scattered abroad? I tell brothers all the time, you could be broke down. If I break down in another city in the States, I got brothers there. And I know them because I travel. Same with you. We travel. That's how we know our brothers. If my car break down in Nashville, Tennessee, I got brothers. If my car break down and my wife is in trouble, if kids are in trouble, lost on the side of the road in New York, I have brothers. Why? Because we travel. Right. That's what Christ is calling us to do. That's your mission, brothers. Get on the ball. That's 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Gedaliah to my right. Soldier Baruch. A man that travels. I'll pray to the Most High. Shalom. I'll pray. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. 
The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth